going on guys so listen man i've been averaging anywhere from a thousand to four thousand dollars a week uh with digital products and earning a passive income and i just wanted to kind of lay it all out like what i actually do because we all know right you hear terms like passive income and there's no necessarily such thing as total passive income uh unless you're investing right uh but generally speaking if you have like a business it's not going to be a hundred percent passive right the, the reason what makes this kind of passive is because one the products, right? I don't have to keep any inventory. I don't have to ship out. Usually digital products are only created one time and you can sell them over and over again. But I also use different tools that allow me to free up my time as well. Like I market, um, you know, with video. And the main reason why I market with video is because video is always going to stay up, right? Like these YouTube videos are always going to stay up. My TikToks are going to stay up my instagrams are going to stay up you see what i'm saying and those videos are playing for me 24 7. and then the the systems that i have on the back end where i have a free guide that collects email lists you know, i'm just putting it out for you man i mean it is no it's no secret now the free guide does have a lot of value like a lot of value i give a lot of value in that thing like i give you a free workshop a free pdf and a seven day you know guide on what to do to get started and not necessarily with just the roadmap. I think all of you pretty much know I sell the roadmap now. I even walked away from another business uh, to really pursue the roadmap and my own uh, brand, as you can see. Um, so yeah, but what do I do on a day-to-day -day basis to earn the income? And you know what I mean? And I'm gonna tell you some things that you probably don't wanna hear versus the things you do wanna hear. Seems like all the people like, when they come to my coaching, they're looking for the quickest hack and the, the quickest secret. You know, not all the people, not all the people in my coaching, but a good portion of people, or even if they're not in my coaching, they come to me because they want to know the secret hack or something like that. And that's the problem. They're so conditional. Like, yo, give me something that's going to get me here, right? Really, really, really quickly. And that's the problem. So if I sit there and say, yo, I'm going to I'm going to show you uh, the three steps that I use to see 10,000. These videos like blow up. Right. But it's like if I turn around and say, hey, I'm going to give you the real truth. <laughs> they, they don't want to hear that. Right. It's funny how people are. But anyways, so one of the things that you probably don't want to hear about first, let me get this out of the way of something I do is I focus on me inside of my private coaching at most won't we will. I talk a lot about personal development. In fact, that's why I started it like a lot. We talk about digital marketing inside of my app, but the majority of the time I'm talking about personal development. And the reason why is because it's needed. Most of the time you don't even have a business problem. You've got a personal problem reflecting in your business, right? Like if I sat there and said, hey, you need to be doing one to three videos a day. And then you said, oh, when I, I'm scared to make a video. Obviously that's not a business problem. That's not, it's like a personal problem. But here's the other thing that I noticed from a lot of people, and I made videos about this, that sometimes it's not really about the effort, right? It's the energy behind the effort. It's the energy behind the action, right? Because you can take an action and I can take an action. And my action is going to get me more of a result only because I know of the energy and the confidence that I put behind it. Sorry, I had a phone call. But anyways, I'll give you I'll give you another example, right? Roger Bannister, he ran the mile uh, within four minutes. Everybody knows this story, right? But the crazy thing is, is he didn't change anything. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't go out there and like do any drugs. He didn't work harder, lift harder, run faster than anybody. What changed? It was the energy he put in behind, right? The effort, right? So everybody was running, right? But then he got a belief one day that uh he could possibly break it well that belief put a different type of energy behind his running right so it's a little bit different so so what do i do to get that energy going well i wake up in the morning um you know i basically read something of inspirational i do a little bit of journaling meaning i write down basically kind of like what i learned from that reading like the aha moment and i try to put it in my own words because i don't want i don't want their words to dictate my life i want their lessons to help me right that's why i don't read in this might go against everybody that you know you know is in this religion but i don't take all the traditions of the bible because traditions are just traditions right but i take the teachings of the bible so like meaning i rather i rather learn from the teaching rather than the tradition of the time right because traditions, 
generally will change, right? But the teachings, you know what I mean? Those are the things that are most sacred to, uh, that is going to help project your life, right? So, and then from there I do, um, and this is the same time while I'm journaling. So I'll just kind of write a brief statement of what I read meant to me. Then I do uh, a gratitude letter and that kind of raises my vibration. I then roll into a quick little five minute meditation visualization and then I go work out. All of those are designed to put me in a different perspective. The funny thing is, is sometimes even reading every morning, right, allows me to have um, content for the day uh, from when I want to go post or anything like that. But all that, that whole little segment right there of me, you know, reading a little bit to, to change my state, to having a gratitude, you know, uh, letter, you know what I mean, to... Uh, really soaking in what I'm learning and letting it sink in to then meditating and visualizing to then immediately going into a workout that is going to also raise my level of vibration. That's going to carry me through my videos. And if you notice a lot of my TikToks, I'm probably wearing a workout shirt. And the main reason why, I mean, obviously with my YouTube videos, I'm doing this because I'm trying to brand most won't we will. But a lot of times in my uh, TikTok videos, I'm wearing a workout shirt. And it's crazy, right? Because it still works. I, I was actually shocked because I thought about that one day. I was like, man, I'm telling people I'm making six figures. And I'm wearing like the same shirts all the time. But, but it works because, you know, you see new people every day and they feel the energy and they can understand. Plus, they see, they, they see the results, right? So with that being said, man, um, I get into that level of vibration. I change my state of being first and foremost. And that's something that a lot of people are not going to talk about. They're going to give you the latest tactic and trick uh, for Instagram and how to go viral or whatever. And it's like, yo, it's not going to fucking matter if you're not working on you, right? Once I got that done, then um, I make a couple of TikTok videos a day, okay? And I go live at 9 o'clock in the morning on TikTok. Um, I do make YouTube videos now. As you know, uh, as you guys have seen, I've been promising you that I was going to be more consistent in fact, it's so funny because I've been playing back and forth with uh, YouTube. I, I changed up my um, thumbnails and all that. And then I started noticing people weren't using thumbnails and they were getting crazy views. I almost wish that I could start this YouTube channel over. I wonder if that plays a difference now. Uh, because seriously, I, I'm seeing some people with um, people that are not you know, having crazy thumbnails or anything like that. And they're starting new channels, getting like ridiculous views. So uh, I wanted to make my content a little bit different. Plus I wanted to make it a little bit easier on me. Listen, man, I mean, I'm making six figures. I'm not going to sit here and, and I'm not afraid to invest. That's not it, but I'm not going to sit here and lie and act like, you know, I got a group or I got a team. Um, and also I don't know if it would be feasible for me to go pay somebody every time. If I'm posting three times a day, you know what I mean? It's just, it, at this moment, it's not that feasible. If I were to get super busy and then, you know what I mean? Yeah, then I could probably say, hey, you know what? I'll just pay somebody to create my thumbnails and everything. But as of right now, I'm kind of a one man show. So I like to keep things very simple. Um, so anyways, mainly TikTok, two videos a day, um, live at nine o'clock in the morning. I go over these three steps that I've always kind of gone over to give people value and to win people over. Um, that, you know, I point them to my uh, seven day free guide so they can just get to know, like me and trust me and mainly trust me because I hand out a lot of value to help people. Now, with that being said, I think oftentimes or sometimes I do miss out on sales because I'm not promising gimmicks. Uh, but I stopped the gimmick part because it's like, yo, like, you know, it just that leaves a bad taste in people's mouth. And, and, and you only attract crowds that just. Dude, you can make some money with a gimmick, but it's like oh man, it's like majority of the time they don't ever achieve that goal. You know what I mean? Like, you know, these people that are promising like, oh, you can make a whole bunch of money by this certain amount of time. It's just, yo, dude, it, it makes so many people, it, it, it wins, it, it, it can make you a lot of money, but it's just, it, it also just deters so many damn people, right? So it's like, dude, just enough of the gimmicks already. Like, and what I started noticing is some of the people that are making bigger money were just sharing their experience. So that's what I do. I share my experience. I mainly talk about that, what I'm learning, tips, tricks, things of that nature. I do do the couple of YouTube videos. And um, last but not least, I stick to these content buckets, which you can get in my seven-day guide, right? But 
uh, these content buckets were a uh, life changer for me. I heard it from somebody else and come to find out I was kind of already doing it anyways. But but putting them in perspective, I was like, oh, man, I really need to double down on this. So there's five types of content that I make and I'm going to leave them with you in this video right now to give you some value. OK, but if you circulate through this, you'll be like, oh, my God, it, this is does work. Right. So anyways, you share your experience with each one of these and you try to tie it to your niche. Like mine is make money online. So all of my content is going to gear back towards making money online. Right. But anyways, you share a personal opinion or some controversy topic that could be something like, you know, digital marketing is the best way to make money hands down. Right. That's controversial. Right. Because some people don't agree with that. But at the end of the day, you know, that's the cool thing about it. That's my opinion. And that's what I believe. Um, you know, the program itself, like give a program review, tools that you're using, anything like that, tips and tricks, give tip, give give advice. I mean, you know, it could be as simple as, hey, you know what I mean? Like, um, I used to think that, you know, in order to make money, you had to have a huge following. Come to find out you don't need a following at all, right? Because on TikTok, you don't. You can start a brand new TikTok tomorrow, make a video, and you're going to get anywhere from 100 to 800 views with no following. Like, the game has changed, guys. I mean, all these people that used to be like Instagram famous, yeah, they're still making tons of money being Instagram famous, but you don't have to be Instagram famous for you to make money at all, right? Last but not least, uh, you know, progress, any type of progress, whether it's making money, generating leads, getting more followers, getting more downloads on your freebie, it does not matter, man. Uh, uh, you know, um, progress is progress. And then last but not least, um, inspiration and motivation, right? Just you know, I, I, I sometimes discount inspiration and motivation and I forget that a lot of times people just need it. And it's a great way to win a lot of people over because they need you to be that portion of their life. In fact, one of my coaches, um, he used to say that all the time, man. He was like, you know, I get up every day and I go work out and I do this or I do that every day. He goes to just show other people to help other people. And I was like, ah, come on, really? But I get it now, right? Because sometimes I'll wake up and as soon as those moments are in my head, like, oh, man, you can sleep in today. You don't have a job, right? You don't have a normal job or anything. You can sleep in. You, can, you know, like, you know, I'll come across like his video or something. And he's already up moving around, doing his thing, you know, attacking the day, making <laughs> tons of money that I'm like, yo, all right, forget that shit. I got to get it. It's like it's motivating within itself. Right. So, you know, I forget that sometimes those little acts of showing up every day and taking that lead role not only helps you makes you feel good but you're also changing other people's lives right you're motivating other people and i think that's ultimately it right so many people want to make money online do digital marketing and they are falling for the gimmicks and maybe they're kind of getting to a point where they're tired of it and they just need to see somebody you know speak the damn truth show up every fucking day take it fucking seriously win 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 you got to win, like go out there and set your goal just to win. Don't don't set a time frame. Just set your goal to win. Right. Because people need to see that, too, because when you start winning, you know what I mean? It inspires them to say, you know what? I've been watching this dude. I've been watching this dude. And he's just winning and winning and winning and winning that I got to go and get my shit, too.